Good morning, Trailblazers. Today is Thursday, February 6, 2014. I am Shyla. And I'm Nicholas. And we are your news anchors from Ms. Ferris's fifth grade class. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's lunch is roasted chicken with corn muffin, cheese pizza, or turkey taco salad. Side items are collard greens, mashed potato, fruit juice, and fresh fruit. And now let's go to Miss Keltner and Dr. Poole. Good morning, Trailblazers. Happy Thursday. Wow, what a matter of what 12 or 15 hours can do to temperature, huh? A lot colder this morning. So go down to Lost and Found. If you're cold, your jackets, mittens, and hats and things might be down there, okay? Keep warm, Trailblazers. I'm going to give it over to Miss Poole to go over the birthdays. Yes, yes, and I got to tell you, I think that I, my brain was kind of frozen this morning because I tried to make today Friday. Oh, yes. But for the most important news of the day, we have three birthdays, and they are Mercer Magruder, Nathaniel Peck, and Bailey Whitten. Come on down to the front office. We are celebrating with you guys. Happy birthday. Mercer, I have to just say you have a great big brother because when we announced your name, he just went like that. That's my little sister. All right. Well, do you know who this mystery guest is here next to me? Any guesses out there? Any guesses? Oh, oh, oh. Let's see who it is. Hang on. I'm going to turn it over to our guest. Good morning, Trailblazers. My name is Miss Bellflower. I just wondered if you could guess my disguise this morning. I had to give a shout out to my class. Good morning, class. They asked me to say hello. I'm very excited to be here, and I appreciate all the warm welcomes. Miss Bellflower is our new third grade teacher. Do you want to reveal your pretty face under the mat? Yeah! There's Miss Bellflower. Welcome to DeSoto Trail. Glad to have you back. Um, let's see. Silent lunch today for fourth and fifth graders. I'll be down in town there monitoring you. Heard you got lots of chances to keep it quieter, and you didn't take them from Mr. Mack and Miss Dempsey. So silent lunch today for fourth and fifth graders. Uh, Lance Sellers, I saw you cooking. Yes, he's in your class, Miss Bellflower. Tallahassee Democrat, TDO.com. Go to that today. You can see Lance and his mom at the cooking school at Publix. Uh, we'll get that video up for you, Lance, here on WDTS soon. Mr. Schubert's not here today, but as soon as he does, he will get that up and going for you. Congratulations, too, from Miss Whitley's class, Jillian Yergen for her multiple, uh, accomplishing her multiplication facts and Cassie Rudd for her division facts. In Miss Penson's class we have Matthew Fred, Ava Carter, and Sean Gonzalez reached their AR goals. Woohoo! Keep reading. And then Keegan Murphy mastered his subtraction facts and Nicholas Oliveri mastered his addition facts. So way to go trailblazers. All right yesterday I needed to clarify if the Sochi Olympics cost 31 billion pounds or um, dollars. It was a misprint. It's not pounds. It's dollars. But actually, when I went back to research the information more, it's more like $50 billion. So the most expensive Olympics yet. And another tidbit about this year's Olympics, there, there will be a record 98 events at the Games this year. There's 15 new sports, including, they're including a lot more women's sports in here now, biathlon mixed relay, women's ski jumping, figure skating mixed team, luge mixed team, ski half pipe for men and women, ski um, slope style, I guess that's freestyle men and women, snowboard slope style for men and women, and snowboard parallel solemn for men and women. So way to go women and ladies getting into the sports action. So again, tomorrow night, Olympics kick off. We'll have more trivia for you tomorrow. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to Captain Chris of the booster team. Good morning, Trailblazers. It's Captain Chris. Can I get your help with an enthusiastic Camp High Five? On the count of three, one, two, three. Camp High Five. Great job, students. Today, we're going to kick off our team huddles in the last 15 minutes of each special, so I can't wait to see you out there. Today, we're going to talk all about what it means to be a team. I am so excited, and we'll also get to celebrate those of you who have already started getting your pledges, so great job. I need another help with one more Camp High Five. On the count of three, one, two, three, Camp High Five. Now back to your awesome anchors. 
I radiate success word for the week is courteous. Courtesy, I mean. When I am courteous, cur- when... <laughs> When I am, sh- when having courtesy is treating people with respect. When I am showing courtesy, I am, tr- I am sh- treating people with manners and sh- and being kind. I love that improvisational <laughs> reading, Nicholas. Go. Go. Now here is Miss Mims. Good morning. Yes, the temperature has really dropped. And anybody that know me know I really don't like the cold. But here we go. We're spinning our wheel today, guys. And Shyla's going to choose two names. There you go, Shyla. Open that up. And choose two. All right. And one other one. All right. Thank you. Close that, ma'am. Got it? It's kind of tricky. All right, guys. So we have a star student, Anton Abad and Miss Morris's fourth grade class. And Nathan Riffitt and Miss Bono's class, please come down. Now, guys, boy, let me tell you, this trivia got real busy this week. I started out with a simple little box. Let's just say that I ended up with this. We had over a hundred and like 25 entries for the trivia question. So let's see what it was. Trivia question was, what brave woman drew national attention to segregation in the South when she was arrested for refusing to give up her seat on the bus in Montgomery, Alabama in 1955, starring the famous Montgomery bus boycott? Well, if you answered Rosa Parks, you were correct. So let's see if we can't get our other anchor to reach in there and pull out a name. Let's see. All right. Let's see who it is. We have Amelia Simone in her third grade. So come down. I'm actually going to pull three names because I just thought it wouldn't be right with 125 entries to pull one. So we're going to pull another one. Come on, Shyla. Okay. Our second winner is Christopher Hood. And I think that's Trubelhorn, second grade. All right, and shall I put one more name out there? All right, and our last entry will be Lauren Adams and Miss Coker's fourth grade. Good job, guys, for answering. All right, here's our trivia question for next week. You'll have until Thursday. She is an American phys- uh, physician and NASA astronaut. She became the first African-American woman to travel in space when she went into orbit aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavor on September 12, 1992. That is your trivia question. It will be posted on the box down in the media center. Get all your answers in, guys, before next Thursday. Now, back to the news team. Go Grady, Success Trailblazers. Have a good day. Bye.